stampers and welcome to Laura's stamp pad. You'll notice that the samples are on a fabulous pink background and I'm doing that the entire month of October because it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So in support of Breast Cancer Awareness, I am doing all of my October videos with the fabulous pink background. So I hope you enjoy it and support Breast Cancer uh, along with me. Last week, I showed you the woodland embossing folder here and showed you how to add color to your embossing folder um, with sponge daubers like these two and then also um, by debossing and adding it to the trees. This week, and I'll of course put a link below for that, this week, I'm going to show you how I did this beautiful blue background, which you could always do as a black background and have it be like a nighttime uh, with white trees, or you could choose any color that you wish um, to go along with that. Like you could do beautiful um, shades of yellow and orange for a sunset, which would be absolutely stunning. So for this one, I'm actually going to take my embossing folder. So here we have it is six by six embossing folder. So this side, the trees are raised up, and that's where we added ink last week so that we had those brown trees. This week, we're actually going to add ink to the other side, which is the background, and the trees are the things that are set in in all of the grooves. So again, you can use your ink pad. I'm using Pool Party, and you can just tap it on as you wish. Or you can take a brayer like I did last week, and this is your brayer, so it's got the little foam wheel here, and just ink up your brayer, and then ink up your embossing folder. And of course, this is a very light blue, so it doesn't really show up super bold, but there's definitely ink on there. And then I'm just going to take a piece of Whisper White cardstock. This measures four inches by five and a quarter, and I'm going to lay it down and then smash it and run it through the Big Shot. So here we have our embossed image, and before I actually pull it out, I'm just going to press into all of those middle sections to make sure that ink got that nice um, form there. And then we'll open it up. And again, you can just clean this with a baby wipe or run it under some water and it'll clean right off so you don't have to worry about the ink staining your folder. And there we have that gorgeous blue background with those white trees. I have found each one kind of comes out a little differently. I probably could stand to re-ink my ink pad a little bit for a nice bolder look. But this one here, I actually inked it with the ink pad. So I actually like stamped the ink pad on the embossing folder. And it seems to come out like it came out really dark here and lighter over here. And it also seemed to come out like a little um, spotty, like almost like bubbly, like there's like little bubbles all over. Whereas this one with the brayer seemed to come out smoother and darker. And again, this one I did with the brayer and it did come out very smooth, but it's also very light. So it might be because I need to re-ink my pad or it might just be one of those techniques that each one's gonna come out different and you just never know how it's going to look. So then of course with this, you can decorate it as you wish. Um, you know, this one I did with the little red glimmer paper heart there and you could use that for winter or for um, anniversary or love or Valentine's Day, anything like that. This one I actually used the Lovely Amazing You stamp set and then I used, uh, for the flowers and the punch there, I used the Sprinkles of Life stamp set with the Coordinating Tree Builder punch. So this one's very springy with the pastels and everything. So you can really get a fabulous look for all of your upcoming seasons and holidays as this one's very, you know, rustic looking would also go very well for spring and a great man card, I thought. Then this one, of course, for your Halloween and your spooky times. And then this one I thought was um, very fallish, but it could also go into winter as well. And just a simple thinking of you card, um, which is perfect for all of those occasions. So lots of great ways to use your woodland embossing folder and some fun little ways to add ink to it. You could, of course, add ink to any of your embossing folders in those very same ways. I hope you try it out. Let me know what you think whenever you um, do. Then definitely leave me comments down below. Feel free to share your photos down below as well. I'd love to see your creations. Don't forget to check out my blog, laurastamppad.com. Once each of these is posted, um, I will post the link down below so that you can see each of those. So if they don't all show up on the first day, um, don't worry. It's because not all of the um, all of the blog posts have been 
posted just yet. So I will eventually have them all posted once all five of the cards um, are on my blog as well. So don't forget to check that out, laurastamppad.com, and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.